Okay, this is how to wire up a monoblock. I'm um, sorry I didn't have a monoblock uh, sitting around. Um, but anyway, this is how to wire up. We've got a single voice call and a dual voice call sub. And I'm just going to show you how to wire it in series and parallel to a monoblock. Uh, keep watching and after I show you this, because I'm going to show you another scenario which you might might come across with a monoblock. Okay, so we've got our RCA, ground, positive, and a remote wire. They're normally together. And then we've got our positive and negative on our mono block. Okay, well for a single voice coil sub, okay, it's as simple as running your ground wire to your negative and your positive wire to your positive. Okay, that's it. That's how you do it. So if you if it's a four ohm sub like this one, you're gonna get a four ohm load on your amp, and uh, whatever your amp says it puts out a four ohm RMS. That's what you're gonna get. So that's how you do that one. Then you're gonna get your dual voice coil. Now, this is where people probably have more problems because you've got terminals on both sides of the sub. Okay? Now, you can wire it in parallel. Now, wiring in parallel, meaning positive to positive on this side and negative to negative on that side. So, one negative and one positive don't have a wire and one positive one negative do. Now, by doing that, you're wiring in parallel and this is a dual 2 ohm sub. Now, by wiring in parallel, it's going to become 1 ohm. Okay? Parallel halves it. And then uh, you can, or you can wire it in series, which means you do exactly this. You get a piece of wire. Okay? And uh, you put it into the positive. Okay? Like so. And then you come around this side and you put it into the negative. Again. Okay, there we go. So then your positive and your negative are linked, and then you get your positive and negative from the amplifier, and your negative goes to the negative, and your positive goes to the positive. Now that's wiring in series, and that'll give you an eight ohm load. It doubles it. Now, sorry for this for this sub, it'll give you a four. I'm thinking dual four. Yes. So you got a if you got a dual two ohm like this sub, that doubles it. That pretty much joins them together, and this becomes a four ohm now because you've linked these two. Okay. And if you do the other way and just go just negative, just positive, you'll halve it and go down to one. Um, with, with just a mono, here's your positive and negative come out. You split them, okay, to solder them together. Just solder your two bits of wire from each one, okay, and then just do the exact same thing. Join these two up, positive, positive, negative, negative, and that's it, okay. Okay, so uh, that's it for that. I'm pretty sure that covers everything. Um... Yeah, I mean, always kind of, if, if you got a 251 RMS sub like this one, okay, you probably want to run a good 250 to 350 into him. You can probably safely run that without distortion. Um, you could probably take 400, but it has to be completely clean. Um, distortion is what kills subs. Okay, now, your other scenario is you got a monoblock like me right here. Got this hyphonic sign, and it has dual outputs, okay? And then you're thinking to yourself, is this a monoblock? Because, you know, obviously a monoblock would only have one output, not two. Now, what that is, is on the inside of this amplifier, there's the two positives and the two negatives are joined to just like a normal monoblock. What this does here is it saves you the hassle of um, having to solder two bits of wire you know what I mean, together, if you want to run two subs. Obviously with this amplifier, if you just want to run one sub, you just go one positive, one negative, okay? Or you can run one of each to each coil, um, but uh, if you want to run two subs, you just run a positive negative and a positive negative. So uh, that saves that problem. Now on this amplifier, I've got mine, each sub wired to four ohm, okay? Um, in series, and then uh, then I've wired them together and it's halved it and it wired the series parallel and now it's a 2 ohm load on the amplifier that's putting out 500 watts meaning each sub's getting 250 and then obviously the other side's got another amp so yeah that's an another situation you may come across is where you've got a mono block but it's got four outputs and that just means on the inside they're actually one output so yeah if you just want one sub just bridge it you know what I mean it's the best way to do it we get a, a um, multimeter like this one, the prongs, as you can see, one positive, one negative. Now it should be showing a two ohm load. And we're getting a two, 2.1.
As I showed you just then, um, with the multimeter, even though you've got a, um, a both 4 ohm load per sub, as you can see when I put it on the uh, output, even though there's 2, it still comes up at 2 ohm. Does it because they're attached inside. So anyway, there's your 2 ohm load, that's the other scenario. And uh, here's where I would go if you were going to um, double check if you're going to do multiple wiring and you wanted to try and figure it out go to the 12 voltcom okay then you just type in your speaker quantity or subs and then your voice coils and then your view wiring and it tells you exactly how to do it that's coming from your amp and it shows you exactly how to do it Oop, I click something